I'm going to show you three different types of balloon pumps, uh, balloon inflators for inflating balloons for twisting. A lot of people uh, think that if they're going to twist balloons, they are going to inflate these by mouth. And let me just tell you, you're not. Um, I'm not saying it's impossible. Yes, people do it, but you have to actually train yourself to do it and practice a lot. And you're not going to just walk in and be like, I can blow this balloon. And no, it doesn't work that way. Uh, kids all the time will ask me if they can try to inflate a balloon. And it's quite funny to watch them puffing on them. Anyway, um, you will want an inflator if you're going to twist balloons. It's, it's going to be gonna make you much happier um yeah and so what most people will start with is a hand pump looks something like this it is like six dollars super cheap very affordable the nice thing with this particular style is that it inflates when you go this way and when you go this way so you get two pumps for each uh, yeah, pump, basically. Okay, look, so see, it inflated and it inflated more than inflate, 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 inflate. Whereas there's another pump that looks similar to that one. It's red, and if you have that one, the red one, you have to pull out the back, and that's just getting air in, and then inflate, pull, inflate, and so you get a lot more for your muscle with this particular inflator. There is one much like it that is smaller. This one is made for 160s. 160s are a only one inch diameter twisting balloon and you probably aren't going to get into those much in the beginning but you may find that you do and once you do you're going to want one of these because it makes it much easier to inflate those little 160s. It has a smaller um, nozzle to fit them on and it doesn't do as much air it just makes it much simpler to inflate a 160. All right then the next step up is what we would call a floor pump. It looks like this floor pump. This is a filbert floor pump. I use this one sometimes at events. The nice thing is you pull up the the nozzle like this and you would push it down to inflate your balloon and you can completely inflate a 260 with one pump whereas with the other with the hand pump you're probably doing like four pumps to get inflated so this can give you one quick inflation and um, comes in very handy and since it's on the floor you don't necessarily have to keep track of it you don't have to have a pocket for it or a table to set it on or anything. It's just right there beside you. Um, pros and cons. This, the filbert pump is very light. It's like maybe a pound. I mean, it's very light, so it's very easy to carry around. You can run a strap from here to here and put it so that you can wear it over your shoulder. That's a good thing. Uh, cons, kids really want to play with this thing. Uh, it's very colorful. You can order it. All these pieces are custom colors, so you can make it any color you want. You can match your business. That's kind of cool. But uh, the kids really want to play with it. So I'm constantly having to tell kids, don't mess with the pump. Don't touch the pump because they really, really, really want to mess with the pump. Uh, this one is about $100. So versus $6 if you're just starting out, this is what you probably want. Um, if you're getting a little more serious, maybe, maybe a filbert pump. There's another one that's white and black. I forget the name of it, but it's essentially the same. The only difference I can see is it was slightly heavier. And when you inflate the balloons, they don't go up like they do with the filbert. They go out that way. That is a floor pump. Then, if you really get into it, the next step up is... This is a Legenda. The Legenda pump is electric, but you don't have to stay plugged in. It has a battery that lasts up to six hours, and it's pretty rare that I do a twisting event 
where I'll be twisting more than six hours. My hands would be just falling off. The Legenda pump, um, turn it on. This one, if you do decor balloons, it can be set to a certain time. So you can inflate all your balloons the same size. That's handy. It has a little cutter up here. So if you need to cut your balloon, it's right there. And you put it on the nozzle. That, and you're inflated very quickly and easily. All right. I love my Legenda pump. It's now what I use for most things. Uh, it will do a 160s and 260s, 5 inches, 360s. It'll do a lot of different balloons for you. But this one is upwards of $200. Comes with a little carrying case. Um, it even has a thing so that if you have two of them, you can link them with a little cord. And then if you're doing decor balloons, and you can do two at a time at the same size. So this is an awesome pump. But... Again, it's more expensive, but if you're doing a lot of balloons, the Legenda is the way to go. And I will put links to all of these pumps in the description. I hope this helps someone as they're looking at different pumps and deciding what they might use. And if you have questions, please put them in the comments and I will definitely answer.